Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over the coming events that have been released. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this starting August 10th until the 16th is going to be the bug out event. We'll go over that here in a second but first I just wanted to put in this their anti-cheat measure. They had to uh, go ahead and put that in the new blog as well for you know just to let you know right. So we're going to see Palkia. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting Origin Dialga quite yet in Pokemon Go. Now, when it comes to the new Genesect, we'll just have to see. It is going to be probably the one they haven't released yet, so you can look forward to that one. As far as Palkit, you definitely want to go for those if that's something you need candies for. Now, we're going to be seeing Zacian and Zamazenta return. I didn't go hard on Zamazenta the first time. I went decently hard on Zacian, but never found a really good IV one. This time around, I'm going to be going as hard as I possibly can, but we have something else to talk about, and that's going to be their crown form. Later down the line, we're going to go over their stats and do a little comparison side by side to see what's going on and just talk about a few theories on how it potentially may work here. Now, take a look at the Pokedex. You're going to be able to see the one that we currently don't have. It's going to be Chill. So expect one with a nice move on it. Now, I will be doing a decent amount of those because I do have a 100. I do have a 98 Shiny as well, and I do want to max out my 100. That's going to be the Burn Drive one, and I do use it in the Master League. Check out those videos. Just go ahead and look it up. And it did do very well in the classic. It wasn't the open because I do not have an XL. But as far as Zacian and Zamazenta, I definitely am going to be going hard for both of them. But Zacian is going to be the one that I definitely want to go for even more so because it's just going to be more usable. Now taking a look at the next bit here, we have some more raids including Mega Obama Snow. Let's go. From July 31st until August 10th. So if you need that Mega Obama Snow energy, well, now's your time. It's definitely going to be a good ice type attacker. And then we have from August 10th until August 18th. What could that mystery raid be? Well, I'm going to have to say probably going to be Mega Caesar. Pretty safe to assume this. It's not some sort of magical future site that I'm doing here, but uh, we've seen it in the data mines and it's the bug out event. So safe to say probably Mega Caesar for those raids is going to be a pretty fun one there. From August 18th until August 25th, you're going to have Mega Slowbro. I do need some of that energy. And then from August 25th until August 31st, you're going to have Mega Ampharos. And of course, you do have a, ch a chance for them to be shiny. Uh, as far as the Mega Caesar, I'm going to have to say yes. Obviously, when they're introduced as their uh, Megas for the raids, they have a chance to be caught shiny afterwards. Raid Hour, take a look here. It's going to be from 6 to 7 p.m. local time. Wednesday, August 3rd, Palkia. Wednesday, August 10th, Genesect. And then August 17th, another Genesect. Probably going to be that same one that we haven't gotten yet. Wednesday, August 24th, you're going to see Zacian. And then Wednesday, August 31st, Zamazenta. So let's get it. I need Zacian candies like crazy. As far as Zamazenta, I'm all right. I want to go hard on Zacian for sure. Taking a look at your breakthrough box reward for August, it's going to be Galarian Stunfisk and it can be shiny. You go ahead and make your decision whether you like that or not. I think, yeah, whatever. I don't even care anymore. It's not like... <laughs> and taking a look at the spotlight hours, we're going to see Hasui and Voltorb on August 2nd, in which you're going to get times 2 Stardust for catching. Go crazy on that one. August 9th, Nidorino times 2 XP. August 16th, Joltik times 2 Candy for catching. August 22nd, Nidoran times two candy for transferring, so save those. And then on August 30th, you're going to see P-Dub times two XP for evolving Pokemon. And then we're also going to be seeing the option to change the language within your game. So that's going to be nice. There's going to be quite a few different languages that you can fluctuate back and forth to if you so choose to. So let's go ahead and talk about Crown Zacian and Zamazenta. Now, you definitely want to still go hard because they haven't announced these, nor do we know how they're actually going to be working when they do arrive to Pokemon Go. So we're also going to be potentially seeing the crown forms, obviously, sometime in the future. But the question is, how are we going to get them? And are they going to be better? Well, let's go ahead and take a look and do a little comparison for the Zacian and the crown Zacian. And then we'll look at the Zamazenta. So max CP for the regular Zacian, Pure Fairy, is going to be 4,329 attack, 220. 54 defense 236 and stamina 192 for the crown form it's going to be picking up a steel typing being fairy and steel which is pretty awesome max cp 5629 attack 332 defense 240 and stamina 192 so in comparison they have the same stamina at 192 but the defense is going to be going up on the crown as well as the attack 
quite significantly at that too, as well as picking up that steel type. Taking a look at Zamazenta's crown form side by side with its regular form, it is going to be picking up a steel type just like its counterpart. Max EP on the regular hero form is going to be 4,329, attack 254, defense 236, and stamina 192. Taking a look at the crown form, it's going to have a max EP at 4,717, attack 250, defense 100, 292, and then stamina 192. So what this one here is essentially doing is becoming more of a tank as it is just a big old shield. And the other one is a essentially just a walking sword in its mouth. It's kind of a silly design. It still looks cool, but we'll have to see. Who knows how it's going to work. But as far as Zacian is concerned, it's definitely something on your radar that you're going to be wanting to go for. As far as rating, yeah, it definitely can have some potential as a very type attacker. Or even, a, I guess, a fighting type attacker if you're wanting to use it with close combat but I really wouldn't recommend it still going to be okay with that fast charge with that snarl and then that hard hitting stab play rough as well although there's also going to be better fairy types to outperform it but it is also going to be able to just absolutely dominate in the master league as you can see here now when it comes to Zamazenta that one is not going to be on par with this one it's not going to necessarily be horrible or anything as a matter of fact it's still stinking good but I wouldn't really recommend you go as hard but it's really up to preference and it can still pull off some incredible wins in master league as well uh so it's not just to go to say it's not that good or anything it's going to be ranked 20 dozo i mean what are you going to say about that right so it's definitely got some uh potential as far as me going hard i have raid passes to say for zacian but if you send me those i suppose i will still do them now what's going on with volcarona could that potentially be introduced it's on the table they probably haven't released all the details yet so we're gonna have to cross our fingers that's probably gonna be a 400 evolution candy like Gyarados taking a look at Mega Scizor I it's it's coming into Pokemon Go for this event there is no doubt about it but anyways if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you need to turn notifications on and I'll be catching you all on the next video thank you for watching and take care Hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!